Good morning, guys. Captain's Log. We're back again. I have Rixie Lay. That's I said it right, yeah. Yes, Rixie Lay. That's the hardest part of my interview is always getting the, <laughs> getting my guest name perfect because it's uh, it's important so people know who you are. Well, this is exciting for me, uh, but also a cool time for you. You're starting uh, your new social media. You want to get on, yes. you've been on Instagram. I saw that you had a few posts and your goal is obviously what? You want to become an influencer and a blogger and you want to get more involved and... Yeah, I just kind of want to get myself out there and, you know, just get my image out there, start meeting people, networking. Okay. And you're in college currently? I am. I go to FGCU. You go to FGCU. So I... I'm going to talk to you about how to start. Tell me what you've done so far to date and how you feel like it's going. Uh, well, so far, what I've done has been kind of minimal, but okay. the, the photos, like I've learned how to like edit photos and... Are you using some programs like on your phone or are you using just, software on your computer or what? Just like basic, like a little Photoshop, a little okay. Lightroom. Yep. Um, a little face too, maybe. All right. And what do you know so far about Instagram and how it works? Well, it's just getting likes and getting people to like you. Okay. And that's important. And I guess what I want to get out of this is um, I want to bring like a new confidence to people because that's important. So like positive energy on the post, is that your idea? Yeah, and just like letting people know that you don't have to fit a mold because I noticed that a lot of Instagrammers kind of have like a very consistent image and consistency isn't always the best, like I think. Okay. I, I like to be out there, so, so I kind of... Go ahead, yeah, no, yeah, no I, I, I just, just want to like... Like just throw things How long out have there. you been doing it? When did you start your account? Um, well, I started my account a while back, but I've like started this uh like I guess blogging goal. Okay. Um couple And what's the goal? Let's hear it. A couple months ago. Um the goal is just to get get my image out there and just get followers and Okay. And so, yeah. have you done any other social media? Like, are you on Snapchat or LinkedIn or Facebook? I or? do. I do have Snapchat. Okay. I snap quite often. I you do? I have a pet rabbit and a dog that are constantly on there. I don't think I've seen it on your IG yet. Well, she will make it on there. She's making an she's, appearance. She's going to make okay. the cut. So, one thing I do have to express is that if you're going to start, you have to do it. Like, yes. I noticed that you don't have a ton of posts and... If you don't have a lot of posts and continue to be in people's feeds, you're going to fall off the radar as in just like when you don't talk to your friends. Right. You just and have then to you stay have relevant. It. Yeah. So you're going to have to stay relevant. So how many times are you going to want to post a day? Um, you have to commit. We're going to work with you. We're going to get, I want to have you on every, say, five weeks and I want to, I want to update it. Okay. And see how how many followers you get and how good you're doing. Fair enough. Let's do it. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> so let's hear about it. How many posts do you want to do a day? I'll tell you how many I think you need. Um, I I think per day I think like two or three posts. Okay. Whether it's like on a story or. So they say that you're supposed to post between five and ten times per day, and because of the algorithms, mm -hmm. you will not get in front of every person. The only people that are going to see all of your posts are people that are either your close friend, you know how there's a close friend tab? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've either, add, they've added you as a close friend, they'll probably see and get the notification of your posts, or people that you're interacting with basically on every post that you make or they make, which they would wanna see the five posts. Otherwise, basically only one out of three, could be one out of five of your followers are, are gonna see your post. So when you post, if you, how many followers do you have? Ooh, but right. we, we're gonna build it. Well, How many do you have? Right now, I think I have like maybe five thirty. Five hundred and thirty followers. So yeah. when you post, I would guess that one hundred and seventy-five to two hundred people at the most are gonna see your post. Yeah. Okay. And how many likes on average are you getting? Mm, less than a hundred. Less than a hundred. Well, that's still good because that's about twenty-five percent of all of your followers. 
which is good. But you're in college, and they're probably all like people that you see all the time and right. at FGCU, right? Yeah. So that's great, but you get we're gonna have to build a following bigger than just at the college, right? Because right. if you want to do like, what is your major? My major is healthcare. Healthcare. Okay. Yeah. And what are your aspirations as far as after you graduate? What are you thinking? Um, going into maybe like the pharmaceutical industry. Or okay. Maybe even like selling like, pharmaceuticals. Yeah. So there's good money in that. Yeah. Um. I I like the fertility uh, pharmaceuticals. Um. Just helping people have babies. Okay. Well, yeah. that's good. So. The idea is going to be that uh, I want to see if you're gonna if, if I'm gonna help you grow, which I can, I know I can, because I've done, I, I you know I run like four accounts and they they're all over ten thousand just in the past year, um, so it's not a secret on how to do it, but there's definitely some techniques, right? Yeah. So so if you could post five times a day, and they don't have to be the best posts, but here's the key: you can post for yourself which is like content that is about you or things that you're doing or um, you know that are relevant to your day, mm -hmm. which is good to post, but you also need to include a few posts that are, I think always inspirational, one, or right. something that like motivates you to positive. do, yeah, positive, mm -hmm. but also that brings the viewers and your followers something that they're gonna want to enjoy seeing besides just you so right. maybe it's um, you know something humorous or something motivational or positive or like beautiful like yeah. it's you know something else so that that's gonna help build your engagement right? right and then of course the big thing is is always there's like a question or like something leading into when people can can leave comments mm -hmm. because if they start leaving comments then Instagram is like right away hey uh, you need to get this post in front of more people. Let me share. Let me let me put it out in front of more people. Right now, on average, one percent of all the people that see your post aren't following you. So that means basically five new people a day are going to see each one of your posts. So in order to try to get, say, thirty people new to follow you per day, you would have to post six times. Because the simple math is the Instagram algorithms are only letting 1%. And 1% of 500 is 5. Right? Because right? that's just normal math, I think. Yeah. So you, in order to get 5 new people to follow you, that would mean 100% of all the people that don't, follow, that don't follow you, that see your post, that Instagram is putting in front of them, would have to follow you back. Which is probably not going to happen. It's probably going to be more like 30 or 50%. So getting out there and making those posts and having the comments, if you can have people comment and engage more, you could get as much as 5% of new followers. So if you think about that, now we're talking like, what, 20, 20 people, 20 to 25 new people per post. So it's important to try to get them to say things or comments or questions. And then every time someone comments, you don't have to write a reply back but even an emoji just yeah. liking the comment isn't enough right. it has to be um, you have to actually reply with something okay. and Dennis like I just heard Gary V mention and it was funny because I've watched Dennis Rodman mm -hmm. and he has a new guy doing his social media but his thing is is that he is um, replying to every single person with no comment but just replying is still better than liking it noted <laughs> because you'll get more engagement so how many times do you post on your story you could post on your story all day and all night one thing that I find is really really uh, engaging and is and reaches way more people right now than anything else is the Instagram TV because everybody's competing for video views Facebook Google Instagram and YouTube are like all competing to be the world's biggest hub for video views. So Instagram is pushing really those videos out a lot. And they'll also share them on your Facebook. Which by the way, you need to you need to have your Facebook posts. Are they automatically shared onto Facebook from Instagram? No, but I have to start. You need to do that. You need to connect it right away. Yes. 
things. There's no, I mean, you, even if you're not posting on Facebook, at least let the post run out on on Facebook. If right. you're posting it and it's on Instagram worthy, then it should be Facebook worthy. Right. Because there is a whole different audience. And you're not only going to want to attract ladies and guys that are 20 to 30 years old. Like, that's right. just not going to be your demo 24 hours a day. Like, first of all, they're probably not going to be your demo at all when you graduate and you want to be in exactly healthcare. So you yeah. definitely need to instantly get on Facebook and hit up that audience because those are the people with the baby makers and the money. Exactly. So make <laughs> sure you do that for sure. So uh, what else are you doing on a daily basis? Well, I currently work at the Butterfly Estates in downtown Fort Wayne. Hello, cool pictures, twenty four seven. Yeah, I do get some of the. Some but really you're not posting shows. now. Um, I did, and then I took them down because I wanted my Instagram to be more personal. Okay, so you want it to be more personal for you? Yeah. So how do you think that the followers are gonna, just because they're gonna touch base with you more personally? Well, I just wanted it to be photos of me and not butterflies. Gotcha. <laughs> and what about? Um, no, I get it. I mean, that's that's what. Yeah, pages yeah. that are butterflies would normally be all butterflies. But how about on your story? Are you posting like, hey, guys, I'm, yeah, you know. Yeah, I post a little bit on my story. I kind of like, come visit me at the butterflies. Yeah, yeah. okay. And then post some cool butterflies? I do. What about the hatchings? Isn't that the best part? Um, well, since we're breeders, I actually get to experience the entire process. Yeah, yeah. so you should do that. You should post those. Yeah. I what about like a swipe right like of like every like three days of the cocoon yeah the, well the thing is that i do it on their social media i do it on their like work page yeah so i don't know if i want to bring that into like my personal life because that's kind of just like my job <laughs> i gotcha i gotcha so with uh with you always wanting to keep everything on a personal level the key is is that if you are going to be on a personal level you're going to just have a small, intimate group of people following you if you don't put yourself out there more. Yeah. That's the hard part. Like, that's the trick on social media. Like, getting a following uh, is great if you have a core group of friends that uh, are willing to follow you and that you interact with, and especially in the college scene, it's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But getting outside of that element, I think you need to touch on more topics and more things that are relevant to you during the day because mm -hmm. if you're doing that like not everybody's doing that that's a cool thing to see it like is. people would totally mm -hmm. want to see that um and maybe you use like snapchat or um like youtube or um even linkedin like hey this is my job right now this is a super cool place to hang out uh check out what i got to see today like people aren't watching butterflies hatch every day right, right? yeah so that's a cool thing um and how long ago did you start the account? Did I ask you that? Yeah, um, I, I started a while back, but... It, but you haven't been really doing yeah, it. Yeah, no, I Wait, did you just archive a bunch of posts? Is that what you did? Like, you went through your whole feed and cleaned it all up? Straight up deleted. You deleted everything? Just because you were like, this is what I want to start doing? Yeah, I'm like, new person. New person. <laughs> okay, okay. So I get it. I get it. And... Um, you can ask me any questions that you want to know that I may have the answer to or also some of the followers. But um, so as far as what about hashtags? Do you use hashtags? Um, I still don't know like what hashtags are appropriate, but I okay. have been told that there's tons any hashtag is appropriate. Any hashtag <laughs> is appropriate and ones that are going to be the most effective yeah. are ones that have uh, 100,000 followers up to I would say 600,000 followers because if it's over 600,000 followers by the time you put the post up like literally it's already going to be past other people's feeds that are looking at that uh, because so many so many are coming in like right. when you get those hashtags that have 20 million you know followers whatever like those aren't going to do anything for you mm -hmm. um, that's like good for J-Lo you know what I mean like Right. The Kardashians, that's great because they'll stay up there because so many people will like that post. And it'll keep staying on there. But your your post with that ha kind of hashtag, like funny, is yeah. that it has 20 million is just not going to go anywhere. Right. Um, but it's super important to include hashtags because 
that's one way that Instagram hasn't shut down their algorithms like to where you'll get in front of new people. I would say if you use, and do you know how many key you can use? Um, isn't it like 30? You can use 30. Yeah. Did you know that you can not only use 30, uh, they don't have to be in your post, that they can be in your comments? Yes. And those are searchable as well? Yes. Okay, so you knew that. And so then, um, what about tagging accounts when you make a post? Are you doing that? Um, I've been tagging like the brands that I wear because like I guess I'm trying to promote like fashion and like an image. Okay. Yeah. And so what's the image? Uh just like my style, like my personal style. Okay. So there's tons obviously of fashion bloggers that you can tag. Um there's tons of fashion companies, right? Uh are you DMing people? I just sent my first DM. Your first? Yes. All right. How many are you sending? Uh, well, I just I just sent one because I'm a, I'm a little nervous. But don't be. Um, just send it. Shoot it off. Who cares? I know. I have to start going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like so, you can. I think you could DM 200 accounts a day, and then Instagram would be like, "Ah, oh, you're done." And then the next day it resets. All right, so, 200. Yeah, so when you're home scrolling through your phone at night when you get in bed and you have nothing else to do except scroll and look at other people's pictures. Yeah, just start DMing people. Just start DMing. Like, you should follow, like, obviously, if fashion is, like, a passion, you should follow, mm -hmm. like, a 100 of the top fashion people and DM every one of those people. Yeah. Like, one person is going to respond. Right. Like, I've had it happen so many times. I do it. Everyone should do it. Like, if you're trying to grow... Your brand, which right. is yourself, right? I mean, that's why people now have Instagram. Everyone has, wants to have their own brand. Mm -hmm. um, you should do that. And what about on your story? Do you use hashtags? Um, sometimes. I don't, I'm not very, like, consistent with using hashtags on my story. I just kind of, like, share I'm not snippets. either. But you know that if you do use hashtags, you can literally, like, put all the hashtags on top of each other and then just put a little icon, like a little GIF or whatever on top of it and they still work oh, so okay. nobody knows you have like a million hashtags on your story post all right noted yeah yeah <laughs> so you could do that all the time and on like so if you post um and you could do the same thing when you tag people on your story uh, like if you're tagging nbc you know the today show jimmy fallon whatever you could put them all on top of each other with just like a tiny bit of uh, offset them a tiny, tiny bit and it all stays like in the same amount and shrink them down and then just put like a little GIF or whatever uh, icon or something on top of that and they'll go away too. So people don't know you've tagged like a million people when they click on the picture. Oh, secret, they can't tell. Secret tags. So that's a great trick because that really works. But the best thing that works is DMing people. I guarantee that one out of two people you DM, if it's something interesting that you're saying, will follow you back. Yeah. That's for sure. And you have to like other people's posts because you have to be engaged there as well. Yeah. So do you use any like third party apps that um, help you like pick out hashtags? No. There's some really cool ones that you can like cut and copy hashtags for certain topics that that will fit into like what you're trying to attract um so there's so just get like some free downloads there's really tons of them yeah like hashtag apps all right what else are you doing um that's basically it uh what, any, I, go ahead no i just go to school i love my my rabbit georgina your rabbit's cool like i have a friend who's really mm -hmm. good at Snapchat because she has a rabbit and she posts. Well, I was thinking of bringing her into like my fashion. You should because she uh, she's actually a beautiful rabbit. She has like she's white and she has dark eyeliner, and I feel that she would be quite the look. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a good look. Yeah. And how old is your little rabbit? What's her name? Uh, her name is Georgina. She goes by Georgie. Yeah. And she is probably wow, like three blind. years old. Three years old, and you've had her for three years? Yeah, I've had her since she was a fresh one. <laughs> nice! Yeah. And she's nice? Does she ever bite anyone? Um, she, I mean, naturally, she is an animal, but 
Uh, she's non-aggressive. She's actually super friendly. She's potty trained. Really? What does she do? She goes to like a um, kitty litter box? Yes. No she, way. I litter trained her when she was just a little baby. That's so cute. So you let her just hop around the house? Yeah, well, she's really spoiled. So she has a huge cage, but I took the doors off and she is just free to roam. She just goes whenever. Yeah. But then does she go back in the cage and, and it, it's like one of those cages where they poop and it goes through? Or is um, it like a real kitty litter box? It's like a little kitty litter box. Like, I have to change it, like, oh, every two days. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, then it's cute when she, like, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, no, it's actually super cute. And my dog is very jealous of her because she gets so much attention. How does your dog not fight with the with the rabbit? Um, my dog is very docile. Yeah. She's, um, she kind of just, like, barks at my mom if my mom is giving my rabbit too much attention. <laughs> really? Yeah. What kind of dog is it? She's an American Eskimo, so she kind of looks like a Pomeranian. Oh, but... yeah. But they're a little bigger, right? Yeah. Well, a lot bigger. Yeah? yeah they're a little thicker. Yeah. In the middle. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, they're both white and fluffy. Okay, so how um, how are we going to track your growth? Are you going to let me have you on every, like, four weeks and we're going to talk about it? If you want me here, I'm happy to be here. Okay, are you going to do some of the things we talked about? Absolutely. All right. And I then just, you, you I just get, need a little kick in the butt. Like. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> like, it's not easy. Even even me, like, I have three companies that I run Instagram for. Um, I have a bunch of comedians that I do uh, social media on Facebook and stuff with. Um, but even me, like, sometimes I skip a whole day. So I know it's hard. Yeah. But if you're going to do that and you want to continue to grow, like, it does not work. Here's another right. clue. Like, what time are you posting? Yeah, random. You can't. I know. You can't. <laughs> like, you that. can post random, like, in between. But you have to have set times that you always post certain things. Yeah. Like, between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. in the morning, always the best. Um, and then between 7 p. and 9 p. And probably for you, more like 7.30 to, like, 10.30 because yeah. the younger demographic but you're still going to attract the same demographic right. like you're not going to get um where did we park uh, you parked this way yeah okay so yeah so if you if you start posting at least those two times of the day just random posts but the key is like you can fill in with other posts it's okay so, yeah yeah does that make sense i yeah i definitely have to start like being more active and engaged I just, I I guess I was nervous because I didn't know how. So now that I kind of have like a little bit of insight on how to address my audience, I think I'll find a better way to do so. And what about captions? There's, if you can't come up with great captions, you know there's apps out there that have a billion different captions and you might not use them, but you can use um, the premise of the caption. And come right. up with something on your own, too. Right. That's another great way um, to attract. Because I've seen so many posts um, that on the exact same post will do, say, 200 likes. And then another post might do 600. Right. Because they put, like, a different caption. Yeah. And it, people it, like captions. So, obviously, they're going to read them. Um, so, that is, that's a good way also. Um, and then another trick... If you're going to start using hashtags, which you need to, yes. is um, do you know that how many lines down it needs to be before they show up in the post if you're not going to use them? Yeah. You can put like five dots. You hit return and then hit a period and then return. And if you do it five times, that will get the hashtags off of the feed. Like people mm -hmm. actually have to click on the more in order to see that. Oh. Did you know that? No, I didn't. You I taught it? you something. You...